Om Shanti. Welcome to 26th of December's Godly Blessing. How do we remain carefree so that we can surrender everything to the Supreme Creator, including the service which we are doing, that is spiritual service? That's what we are going to explore in this beautiful blessing. So, Supreme Father says, May you remain carefree and surrender with your intellect the service you do to the Father. Now, the intellect does decision making. Should I do this this way or should I do this that way? Now, God says if you use your own intellect, then you might make a little bit of mistakes because you might come into ego, you might come into jealousy, you might come into uh, comparison and that might lead to disservice. So, Father says that it's better that you surrender with your intellect the service you do to the Father as an embodiment of success. So, no matter how difficult some service may be, surrender that service with your intellect to the Father. And my father, this is what I intend to do. This is the complete picture which is there in my mind. It seems that it's getting difficult. Kindly you take over or you guide me how to go about it. Or you change things around in the world so that things work out the way they're supposed to. Because I cannot do it on my own. Do not have any consciousness of mine and think I did this but didn't have any success. If you think that... I gave such a nice lecture or I explained it so well and it is the consciousness of mine that means it's my service, my way, my intellect, my talent and I did this but it didn't have a success. It is the father's service and so he will definitely do it. Never think it's mine. Keep the father in front of you and you will constantly remain carefree and also be successful. Do not ever sow seeds of weak thoughts. Do not think that you are doing service, but that you are not receiving the Father's help. Do not think that you are doing service, but that you are not receiving the Father's help. That you are perhaps not worthy. Now, these are very weak thoughts. <coughs> First is that I am doing service. Very weak thought. Because I am alone then. Second thought, I am not receiving Father's help. Another very weak thought. Even waste thought. And then thinking that, perhaps I am not receiving his help. Maybe he is not helping me out. Or perhaps I am not worthy of doing that. Now this is something which is a very depressed way of thinking or a very impure or negative way of thinking because we are doing something which is his work. Now if one of the person who is taking God's guidance says, I think it's not going to happen. I don't think it's going to be good enough or I'm not worthy enough to do it. Then why did he choose you? That is demeaning ourselves. These thoughts are wasteful and put success at a distance from you. Now having self-doubt, having doubt on the creator, having doubt on the service and then having the ego that I've done it or uh, I did this. That's why it was not successful. Then this is a complete chakra view. It's a cycle in which we can get completely sucked into it. And to come out of it may become difficult. So God says, don't take this step. Be soul conscious. Be carefree and surrender the service to the Father by surrendering your intellect. Now, how do we do this is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis. Om Shanti.